Today I'm going to give you my video creating process, how I take a video from scratch, take an idea from scratch, build it up and create these awesome and amazing video for you guys coming up. Hi, this is Ali from AWP Exotic and welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing, do leave a like, turn on those bell notification icons so that you don't miss out any of the good stuff from my channel. Let's take you straight into my process. Now, when you talk about a process that anybody use, uh, the process generally has a few steps that lead to the end results. Well, my process is uh, composed of five steps, which brings us to step number one, which is the basic idea. Now, an idea is basically the thing that is behind all the great works, whether you look at Hollywood, whether you look at any other video creating platform, whether it's on YouTube, a good idea is the thing that hits you. So I'm continuously on the lookout for fresh new ideas while I'm with my friends in a restaurant, while I'm traveling, I look at stuff, I look around and try to grasp an idea on which I can develop a future video for you guys. So the first step is to get that idea. Once that idea is there, uh, once a set of ideas is there, then we move on to step number two. All right, now step number two is basically composed of three subparts, development, sifting, and research. Once I have the idea or a group of ideas that I have uh, in my mind, I jot them down. Then I sift through those ideas, come to the conclusion of those that can be done within the financial, physical, or administrative resources that I have, and those that are not doable, uh, considering the distance involved, or perhaps there is you know, an air travel involved, or something which is not doable at the moment. So I sift them out. Now, once I have the idea, which I'm going to work upon. For example, I'm uh, planning to, uh, to make a travel trip to a place on which I'm going to make a vlog for you guys. So I do the necessary research and gain as much information as possible about that place. Now that includes uh, the place's geography, the routes uh, that are available, uh, the trafficability, uh, the terrain, the weather, uh, what gear should I take along. All these things, you know, they start unfolding in front of me and the idea starts generating itself automatically inside my mind which ultimately tends to bring us to the third step. Now, the third step after I'm done with the sifting, collecting information and doing my research on the particular idea that I have is to put it into writing uh, in a script form. What I do is that I take the idea and then start generating a script with the complete idea, how the video is going to be you know, laid out, what's going to be in the intro, what's going to be in the middle part of the video, what's going to be in the ending. I include, uh, try to include uh, the type of shots that I'm going to take while I'll be on ground over there in the field while shooting for the idea that I have. Now, once the draft script is complete and I have the information jotted down, uh, then I move towards formulation of a formal script, which is going to be my final guideline for the video that I'm going to make for you guys. Now, that formal script is the final product on paper that I have over here. It is always good and it's always necessary to write things down. It's very difficult for a common newbie or a beginner photographers or videographers out there to do everything impromptu. So getting a pen, opening a notebook, writing things down is the best thing that you can do. And it saves a lot of time while you are out in the field, if you're shooting a subject, it will do wonders for you. So take a pen, write down the idea and be consistent with the writing thing that you have. So once you start, you know, getting better in this field, then you can, you know, uh, go for the bullet point type of uh, script that a lot of uh, professional videographers and photographers use, but that is for the later stages. For the beginner part of uh, the things, stick to the script, stick to what you've written and write down in detail. Trust me, detail is everything. Now, all these things covered, this finally brings us to step number four. Now, step number four is basically the common process that everybody does. People jump straight to step number four, which is actually going out and shooting for the planned idea that you have. So once my script is complete, once I've done the research, once I have the idea in mind, once the, all these things are done, I move out to the target area or the uh, place that I have in my mind as my idea follow the script and take the shots. Take them comfortably. Uh, I use multiple angles, use different, you know, high, low angles and try to shoot as much as I can. I try to include drone footage in that. And plus, once the script portion of the thing is done, I start to incorporate fresh new ideas in the videos uh, that are not scripted. So that, uh, you know, also starts to help when you bring those uh, clips back home and you start to go for the editing process. Those new ideas and new scripts, uh, new things that 
that you have uh, added, new shots that you have added will actually help you once you're in the editing process. They're going to add to the value of your video. Coming over to step number five. Once I'm done with the, the shooting process, uh, I've taken all the shots, I've taken all the drone shots, I've taken all the juicy stuff shots for you guys. I rush back home and start the, you know, cumbersome and lengthy editing process, which takes the most amount of my time. I bring all the footage in Adobe Premiere Pro, cut the footage, edit it, add sound effects, add transitions, add, you know, a lot of other things, color grade my videos. And once the video is finally done, I export it and then post it on YouTube for you guys. So these were five video creating steps that I use. You might be using another process totally different from me. You might prefer different uh, steps which are totally opposite to me or different to me. I don't want to limit you in the steps that you can create for your video creating process. This is AWP Exotica. We'll be bringing you a lot of new other videos and planning a few vlogs and planning a few travel videos going around here and there. I'm going to bring drone footage for you guys very, very soon. If you guys are new to the channel, please do leave a like, please subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons and just support this channel. We are, you know, touching 120 subscribers and it is all because of you guys. Trust me, I am so, so encouraged by every subscriber and every like that I get. So, signing off for now. See you in another video really really soon bye bye